Robin Williams, best known for his larger-than-life characters in comedy, was found dead in his California home Monday. The 63-year-old actor died of an apparent suicide. The coroner's office confirmed Williams was found unconscious and not breathing. In a press release, the coroner said they suspect the death was a suicide due to asphyxia, but a comprehensive investigation must be completed before final determination is made. Williams rep released a statement saying in part, he has been battling severe depression of late. This is a tragic and sudden loss. His wife, Susan Schneider, also released a brief statement and said, This morning I lost my husband and my best friend. While the world has lost one of its most beloved artists and beautiful human beings, I am utterly heartbroken. Williams had battled health problems and struggled with substance abuse for decades. Only last month he went into rehab at Hazelden Addiction Treatment Center in Minnesota and was expected to stay there for several weeks. Williams, a Chicago native, starred in dozens of beloved roles spanning four decades. He studied briefly at Juilliard but was playing nightclubs in the mid-70s when he was discovered for the role of Mork, a friendly alien on Happy Days. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> Remember me, Mork from Mork? You once called me the nutso from outer space. A role that led to a spin-off show, Mork and Mindy. Last night when I was sleeping, I had talking pictures in my head. Oh, you mean you had a dream? Well, I know it wasn't a movie, because when I woke up, there was no gum under my seat. In the 80s, he made a name for himself on the big screen in iconic roles like the over-the-top DJ in... Good morning, Vietnam! And the unconventional English teacher, John Keating, in Dead Poets Society. I get in yopping stance. Uh, a yawp. No, not just a yawp. A barbaric yawp. In his comedic roles, Williams was known for ad-libbing, and characters like Mrs. Doubtfire cemented his place in comedy history. Help is on the way, dear! Mrs. Doubtfire! Help is on the way! Help! Oh, Mrs. Doubtfire! Hold on, dear. Oh, 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 oh. One more time, dear. Oh, oh no, work oh, with me! Williams even won a Grammy for Best Spoken Album. But he proved his acting could be dramatic as well, and won a Best Supporting Oscar for his role as a hard-nosed therapist in Goodwill Hunting. After he accepted the award, he proved he still had a sense of humor about it. Well, I, you know, see, I was trained as an actor, so it's not like they have to medicate me. <laughs> I think people think that they put me on and go, Shh, sit, good, good, mm, good take. Williams returned to television in 2013 for CBS's sitcom, The Crazy Ones. He spoke to USA Today before the show's premiere and talked about his favorite characters from his career. Well, in terms of voices, it's the genie, just because it was like, I think, 32 different voices. Aladdin! Hello, Aladdin. Nice to have you on the show. Can we call you Al? Or maybe just Din? Or how about Lobby? In terms of acting roles, I think Awakenings, because it was, you know, it's Oliver Sacks, basically. And he's this extraordinary man who introduced me to so many, you know, just the, the whole idea of that the brain is this incredible, this incredible organ. In The Crazy Ones, Williams played an advertising executive working with his daughter, played by Sarah Michelle Gellar. His co-star tweeted a collage of photos shortly after news of his death. Well, one of his earliest co-stars, Henry Winkler, a.k.a. The Fonz, tweeted this sentiment. Robin Williams was like no other. To watch him create on the spot was a privilege to behold. Conan O'Brien was actually taping Monday's show when the news broke. He shared it with his audience. We're thinking of... Uh, Robin's family. We're thinking about everybody who he touched uh, a, around the world throughout his life, and we're we're thinking about Robin uh, tonight. The president summed up the collective feelings following the news in a statement: Robin Williams was an airman, a doctor, a genie, a nanny, a president, a professor, a bangerang Peter Pan, and everything in between. But he was one of a kind.